Hey, how's it going? Uh, making this video just to help uh, some people out. Having a problem with their audio interface. Uh, obviously, if you're looking at this, uh, you most likely don't have a working uh, set of speakers on your MacBook. Uh, the eighth inch jack on the side of the of the MacBook, uh, where you put your headphones in, is most likely gr glowing red. Um, I would say if it isn't, you might have another problem. But most likely, what it is is the eighth inch jack on the side of the computer was twisted to the point where one of the contacts is now stuck in a position that's making the optical signal, uh, you know, stay on, which is that red light in the uh, the audio interface, you know, output. So basically, I've read all the different ways people online have said, you know, to fix it, shove matchbook, you know, matchsticks in there, shove a, you know, WD-40, electrical contact cleaner, hit it with a flamethrower, you know, whatever. There's a million different ways people say they jiggle shit in there and it, and it fixes it. But after all that, mine was not fixed. So basically, what I figured out was on the inside of that eighth inch you know headphone jack what you're going to find are there's a uh, like two sets of con uh, contacts left and right side um, my problem was on the right hand side uh, most people say that position but you know I think it depends on which way the jack was tweaked to get it broken in the first place but mine's at three o'clock position if you're looking into the red light from the you know side of the MacBook I believe it's also a MacBook Pro, so maybe that'll help you guys out too. Basically, what you want to do is grab yourself a common safety pin. Uh, all you got to do is take this safety pin, bend it open, and uh, take a pair of needle nose pliers or whatever you can do to grab the tip of it and bend about a 3 16th 90 degree bend right on where that point is on the end of the safety pin. It's going to create a hook for you to uh, fix the contact on the inside. Now, people say this, you know, jamming shit in there might break it, blah, 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 blah. Go ahead to the Apple store and see how much they're going to charge you to get that interface replaced. You might as well buy a new, you know, or used MacBook. So, I do it when the computer's on. You might want to turn it off, you know, shock risk, whatever. It's it's a an audio jack, you know. I don't really bother with any of that, but it might be a smart thing for you to do. Uh, so anyway, you got your, your little safety pin hook made, and what you want to do is find that contact on the inside. Now, I'm going to say it's at 3 o'clock. It might be at 9 o'clock, depending on which one's bent. But uh, what you're going to do is push that hook into the hole, get it behind that back contact. And once you get it slipped in and underneath of it, so you're going to be a little higher or lower trying to you know get the contact, uh, once you feel it, it hook in there, you're not going to be able to pull it out because you're going to be actually grabbing behind that contact because it's it's like a little a little loop. So you're you're basically going to be you know grabbing from up underneath, you know, like that, trying to get that that contact where the eighth inch you know jack slides in past. So once you get that hooked up underneath there, all you got to do is take that pin and bend it to whichever side the contact is on. So if, if you're at 3 o'clock, bend that past 3 o'clock, you know, out to the outside, and it's going to push that, that, that contact open more so that it stops it sending that all, the optical signal and gives you audio back to your speakers. Now, it takes a little bit of pressure to pull it out. Um, I've actually had a... You know, a couple had to try a couple times uh, the first time to get it to work, and uh, I really torched it over. Now I pretty much just put it in there and, and give it a, a little tug, and it's good to go again. Uh, it happens every now and again. Basically, if you're if you're using a bigger jack setup, like if you have like a quarter inch going down to an eighth, and trying to hook cables up to that little tiny you know jack, you're gonna end up you know tweaking it, or if you or if you walk away with your, you know, your your headphones, grab something, and it tweaks it that way. It's it's most likely gonna, you know, pull that, pull that to the side, and you know the red light's gonna come on. Uh, obviously, you know, once the red light goes out, you got audio again. You're good to go, um, and your, you know, your headphones are gonna work again. Also, um, actually, they usually always work. Uh, so I hope help this helps you know you guys fix your computer instead of you know dropping five six hundred bucks to go get a new you know audio interface for your MacBook. 
uh, which, you know, for me wasn't an option. Uh, so, hope it helps you. Thanks, guys.